Hello everyone, we are Team Life Game Creators. I'm Lamont Tyson. This is my lovely wife, Crystal Tyson. And we just want to give you guys a little bit about who we are, why we're entrepreneurs, and why we believe in free market capitalism. So Crystal, tell them a little bit about your background and how it felt the day your life was changed when you decided to marry me. Oh goodness. <laughs> so my name is Crystal Tyson. I am from Detroit, Michigan and Inkster, Michigan. I grew up in both cities. And I come from relatively humble beginnings. Um, I was raised in a single parent household. I have a brother and a sister. And um, initially, I didn't think I would have the opportunity to go to college, but I was blessed with a scholarship, was able to go to Central Michigan University. From there, I went on to med school at Wayne State University School of Medicine. And I did my residency at St. John Hospital in Detroit. And after that, um, my, my aspiration was to help people who um, had high blood pressure and kidney disease. So I went on for fellowship training at Duke, um, Duke University. And I guess in my role now, I don't know what the, I'm getting all off topic. You're a nephrologist now at Duke University. Mm -hmm. You do research. Start over. She's a little nervous. <laughs> We're not starting over. No. We're just going to be natural because she's a little nervous about the camera. But right now she's a nephrologist at Duke. She has a passion for being an entrepreneur and she loves to help people. Uh, what she forgot to talk about was that explosive moment when she came to Durham to do a fellowship and she met me. And at the time when she met me, I was going through some things. I had just moved up here to the Triad area. Um, I took a contract job and was learning the ropes and kind of went through some attrition with the company and was going through the process of breaking out on my own. And this was back in 2009. And my whole entire life, I've had the entrepreneurial spirit I've done network marketing and learned that that's not a good way to go. Um, I come from poor background. I grew up an asthmatic child, living in poverty. My mom just never had that oomph, that belief in getting into being a business owner or even getting an education. And through seeing that, that just really made me want to become a business owner. And so we'll fast forward back to when I met my wife in 2009 and I was going to start a company. I was a little nervous. And the first person to invest in not only me, but in that first company was my wife. And that first company after 2009 made six figures every year until this year when the state of North Carolina de decided that working with children that have breathing problems is not that important because the business was respiratory therapy with children outside the hospital. And since we've been married, we've done two other businesses uh, alongside that one. And we've had two failures. Um, you know, instead of buying a home in the very beginning, we took money that we had saved to invest in the commercial property um, to be a child care center because we so believe in the power of helping others, helping the American consumer and being an entrepreneur and putting things in their life that is of quality. And it just didn't work, but we did learn a whole lot from it. And so we're back and we have notebooks full of business ideas that we feel like we can bring to market. And we just really want to have this opportunity to bring this one to the market. And we feel like we can make a great impact for others.